Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we've got a couple things to look at. First of all, we have a new code to go with the Lilith uh, 10 year anniversary. And then we've got something to look at because I had a lot of fun with this one. We had I had Lilith come out to my house. I'll tell you a bit more about it in a sec. Let's get the code out of the way first. So uh, obviously I'll leave a link to the website and um, an instructional video on how do you do this for people on the global server. This is on the test server, so we still have the code button. But it's gonna be Lilith, uh, I think it was 10, with the TH on the end. Ah, oh, dude, I do this every time. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got 10 scrolls and 510 gems. For some reason, when I hit enter on my keyboard when I'm doing codes, it uh, it sends the screen very light. I have no idea why that is, but it is a thing. Anyway, it doesn't matter because we're bouncing off of there. So 10 free summons, not too bad. Always happy days to get 10 free summons. Hopefully you get an awakened hero from them. But the next thing I want to do is actually before we do that, I also just uploaded my summons. Now, I messed up with my summons. That video went up like probably half an hour ago by the time I upload this one and then I saw the code. Um, but yeah, we, we, we got some summons on Kiasma. I wasn't going to upload the video because I messed up with the audio, but I think we found a good workaround. So if you want to watch some summons on Awaken Athalia to Ascended, that video is there as well. But when we jump over here, so Lilith have just uploaded this, which is their um, 10 year anniversary video. Now, essentially what they did is, as you can see, for Lilith Games, a 10 year anniversary, we interviewed many players in five countries around the world to hear their stories and discover what games mean to them. Now, if you go down here to the timestamps, we've got a few people around it. Uh, you do have me in there as well. Uh, so <laughs> if you want to go have a bit of fun, uh, you, you can check out there. It was honestly a really wicked day. We had, I think there was about nine or 10 people at my house by the end of it. Uh, let's just go, I'll just play through it and you guys can uh, go watch it with audio if you want to watch it. Um, I'll leave this linked in the description, but essentially we had, uh, who was, okay. So I'm trying to go through the people. So we had, we had two of the girls from, um, from Lilith come out. We had a producer, two, a lighting guy, I think it was two audio, uh, two video. I think that I th and we had makeup as well. <laughs> we even had makeup. So we had a bunch of people out of my house. Uh, it was it was honestly a really fun day. We um, they 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 basically asked me what my routine was. They wanted to record me going through my daily routine, uh, doing a bunch of stuff. But honestly, it was it was so much fun and it was a, l a lot of people to squeeze into my house, especially in this little room that I do recording in and stuff like that, uh, but had a ton of fun. Uh, really appreciate Lilith doing it. Now, make sure you check out this video as well. If any of you guys played Dislight, uh, you'd know Daddy Free to Play. Uh, they also went to his place, got a bunch from him and a bunch of others from Rise of Kingdoms and stuff like that, that they also interviewed and they have it all in this uh, 10th anniversary package that they've put together. I, I honestly, like I said, it was a ton of fun. I thoroughly enjoyed myself uh, through the whole day. It, it was something a bit different. You know, I've never done anything like that. Um, but yeah, we had plenty of laughs and it was a good time. So uh, honestly, the effort that they put into something like this, like I said, the amount of people that were there and the effort to get like a two minute clip of me and which they would have done the same thing for everyone in this. Um, massive respect to Lilith. Uh, you know, the 10 year anniversary, Still going. Obviously, we've got AFK Arena. We've just gone through the four-year anniversary for that. Uh, and then we've got past that, we're going to have um, AFK Journey, which is out in soft launch now. I'm going to do more content on that once we get a little bit closer. Um, and honestly, there's, there's a ton of stuff coming. But this one was Daddy Free to Play. If you play Dislight, you'll know Daddy Free to Play. He's an absolute great bloke as well. Um, so yeah, you can jump over there and check it out. But like I said, Massive props to Lilith for, for all the work that they did with that one. But anyway, let's jump back over here. My screen is still a bit pale, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> we can't help it. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to jump on and I'm going to try and pop a few summons, see what we can get because, you know, we're, we're popping... 76. Okay, let's do our 76 here. Uh, apologies for the light screen. Actually, what I'll do is I'm just going to reboot it. We'll jump it back over here. Uh, wait, we'll go back over to this screen. We'll watch a little bit more of Daddy Free to Play uh, while I try and find where my blue stacks went. I've lost the instance and everything. All right, so let's jump back into it. Uh, Close that, start it back up, and we'll get it back going. But yeah, honestly, absolute ton of fun. 
<laughs> and uh, like it's funny watching like daddy free to play in here like it, it's it's such a funny experience when you've never done this sort of thing before like just trying to be normal <laughs> while people are filming you it, it, it was actually quite hilarious i thoroughly enjoyed it uh let's jump back over into the game now it is loading up there it is the awaken athalia let's go i don't know why every time i press enter in my blue stacks instance it does that uh okay let's go let's pop our summons here let's see if we can let's see if we can get another awaken copy we're, we're just popping normal summons with the hope we'll pop our friendships as well let's see how we go okay purple straight up what do we get? Okay, we're, we're definitely on one time speed here. We're going to speed this up. Let's go select setting speed six. Thank you very much. Yep. Jump back in. All right, let's go. That's better. And nothing guaranteed. Okay, give me a yellow. Please give me a yellow. I mean, the chance of getting an Awakened Athalia are pretty much zero, but hey, we can dream. Look at the big man. Look at the big man, the Rigby's. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on, friendships. Friendships have the same rates for... Unless they... Have they changed the rates? Because friendships always had the same rates at Awakened as normals. Do they still? We got a 0.1% chance. And we got a 0.1% chance. I don't... What? How, how do we not have a 0.1% chance at Awakened in factions? Faction scrolls are so bad. I think they need that. Because in every event... And thing across the board. Dude, we haven't even had a purple yet. This is so shafted. But in every event and everything across the board that they put into the game, they rate uh, they rate the faction scrolls highly. Like, they're always more expensive. And I just don't get why. Outside of being in your first, like, week of the game where you're really trying to get in, get your first ascended and stuff like that. Dude, what is this? There we go, got one. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, outside of like the first week of play or so, faction scrolls just get bad. I would love faction scrolls if they could give you awakened heroes. I know it's only a small chance and all that, but and, like they don't give you cell hypos either. Yet, yet they're weighing them higher. That's that's the thing that confuses me. Like I would love it if they could. That, I, we, we need to make a video, video about uh, things we'd like to see in the game. I, I feel like we're due for a yearly updated things we need in the game because I really need to talk about guild battles again like I do every year for the last three and a half years since they tried it once and gave up on it. <laughs> then, they, then they said it might be coming, but it's not. So I, I don't know. We, we got to do that because I, we need Awakened Heroes. I feel like Cell Hypers should have a chance out of Faction Scrolls as well, just to give them that value. Or they've just got to dump the value that they put on on faction scrolls in events and stuff like that so the people can just go for the faction uh, for the normals and like get better value out of that i don't know or like no no drop them drop the value of them so you can see instead of getting less factions you get more factions i don't know that's a little rant uh we're two points away surely i've got two points that i can send and receive here two points okay nice let's go boom how about the single how about the single for an awaken rip anyway guys that is it the code good luck on your 10 pool hope you get better rates than i did just then thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and i'll look forward to seeing the next one cheers